What's going on guys? It's OmniArk and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about the best guns in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Now I just want to preface this video by saying that this list is primarily for the first 20 to 30 levels of leveling up in Modern Warfare. At the time of recording this, the game is less than 24 hours old, so most players haven't even touched some of the later unlocks. And of course, if you're watching this video a few months from now, these guns may have been patched or updated. And as always, your personal preference obviously comes into play when picking the best gun for your playstyle. Now before we jump into it, if you guys could just drop a thumbs up, subscribe, and ring that bell just so the YouTube algorithms know that you'd be interested in seeing more videos from me i would really appreciate that with that being said guys let's jump right into it now modern warfare is completely different from any other call of duty we've seen in the last five or six years because the attachment system for this game is absolutely insane and i will say at the start of this video the attachments will make or break your weapon some attachments for certain guns will completely change the gun into a totally different weapon depending on the ammo that you pick the massive variety in attachments and how drastically they affect the guns performance is the reason that we cannot pinpoint a single best gun other players other people will tell you um hey this is the best gun this is the best gun it's hard to pinpoint especially right now so i'm going to give you guys a list of four guns that i think are really really viable at low levels and putting your time and effort into them to unlock a lot of the attachments would definitely pay off in the long run so jumping right into it you unlock create a class at level four if you're not level four yet you can try uh play around with some of the different default classes just to get a feel of some of the different weapons um but once you hit level four you'll unlock create a class and there will be two assault rifles and two submachine guns that you unlock at that time now the first gun we're going to be talking about is the kilo 141 this is the most common gun that you're going to be seeing right now because that's the first assault rifle that you unlock and guys like i said before attachments are super powerful in this game so if you jumped in and you've been using this gun and you've been having moderate success odds are that you've unlocked a decent amount of attachments for the gun and i highly recommend going through and attaching some of the different ones that you think make it even better for your play style i've seen a lot of people use this gun not only because it is one of the first weapons they unlock but they also continue to use it into some of the mid-range levels because they already have a ton of attachments and the gun is pretty good as it is personally i would be recommend using this gun around medium to maybe a little bit medium long range um, but really medium range is best for this weapon if you use it at long range you're probably going to get killed by the FMAS or by maybe a sniper rifle uh, because this gun does have a decent amount of recoil which you can try to compensate with with attachments but you will still experience a lot of kick when you're getting shot by enemy players uh, so long range with this weapon is definitely difficult you really have to have good aim uh, and have to catch kind of the enemy off guard essentially now you guys might be thinking what about the foul this is the other assault rifle that you unlock at the uh, at the beginning of the game and I do see some people using this weapon to success but honestly in my opinion the rate of fire it's a semi-automatic weapon um so right now the time to kill is insanely fast way faster than black ops 4 um so i think right now a semi-automatic weapon uh is just not the best play right now personally i'm not a fan of the fal um maybe down the road it'll be a little bit better when we learn the maps a little bit more and you know they buff certain guns nerf other guns and we try to figure out the traffic patterns and routes for certain maps but right now i'm thinking of the two guns that you unlock at the start for the assault rifle category i think the kilo is probably your best bet now if we're looking at submachine guns i have two submachine guns i'm going to recommend and these are actually the first two submachine guns that you unlock in the beta if you guys remember the mp5 was super super good it seems to me that the gun has been a little bit nerfed uh and also we're playing on a huge variety of maps right now we're playing on way bigger maps than we played in the beta uh so the mp5 definitely isn't as good as it was in the beta but the two guns that you unlock when you first hit level four are the aug or the aug however you want to say it and the p90 now both of these submachine guns are really really good actually um they definitely have different uses though so the aug is a really interesting weapon because to me it feels sort of like an assault rifle i would say it is definitely better at medium range uh and maybe leaning towards medium medium short range so kind of like the opposite of the kilo 141 the kilo 141 being good at medium range on the higher end of the spectrum and the aug being better at medium range on the closer end of the spectrum as you continue to unlock attachments for the aug you're going to unlock 
unlock the 556 NATO rounds, which is going to make the range for this weapon way longer. It completely changes how the gun is used. So keep that in mind. Um, there's a lot to look forward to with upgrading the AUG, and I think that it's really, really versatile. So definitely a weapon that you should consider. Now, again, the other submachine gun that you get at level four is the P90, and this is going to be the third gun that I recommend for you guys. It's one of the best guns for the early levels, not only because you get it right at level four, but also because this to me is the best weapon to use at close range. So if you're playing a smaller map, the P90 is probably going to be your best bet, especially if you're really, really into rushing. Um, personally, I haven't had success with rushing in this game. This game is a lot slower paced than previous Call of Duties we've had in the past couple of years. So for me, rushing has been really, really difficult. I haven't figured it out yet. Um, but if you guys are finding a lot of success with your rush uh, tactics, the P90 is probably the best weapon for you because not only is it pretty accurate at close range, it has a really, really, really good fire rate. And it also has a really big magazine size compared to the other weapons that are on this list. Other guns on this list have anywhere from 25 to 30 rounds in their standard magazine whereas the p90 i believe has anywhere from 40 to 50. Uh, so right now the p90 has one of the best magazine sizes which is really really great because you're gonna run into a building spray and pray you can get multiple kills and also what's really important with the p90 is that hip firing with this weapon is actually really viable it's really really good you can totally hip fire close range with the p90 i can't really say the same for other weapons especially the assault rifles in the game as it stands right now the p90 is probably the best weapon to use if you're rushing and in close range engagements smaller maps probably the best one for the first 20 to 30 levels of the entire multiplayer experience now the fourth and final gun that i want to recommend is the m4a1 now this is i think the first assault rifle that you unlock after the two base ones that you get at level four and personally i find this is my favorite weapon out of the four that we have talked about so far um it's a huge throw up between this and the kilo they seem like it's very inconsistent which one i find better they both have a decent amount of recoil um and they both have a decent amount of damage but for me personally it feels as if the m4 has a little bit tighter recoil and has a little bit higher damage with a similar fire rate so for me i'm getting better more consistent kills with the m4 a1 than i am with the kilo so for me i switched over to the m4 and i'm having a little bit more success with this weapon now i want to talk about attachments for these guns because that's one of the biggest things when it comes to making the best gun in modern warfare because the attachment system is extensive but unfortunately a lot of these attachments you get at much higher levels and it's just most players have haven't unlocked a lot of the attachments for these guns unless they've stuck with a single gun the entire time but what's most important is the attachments that you use right out of the gate the ones that you get first the ones that you unlock at lower levels um, and some of these are actually really really good now if we're talking about muzzles there's the flash guard and the suppressor those are two of the first muzzles that you unlock for the attachments and honestly I don't use either of them neither of, the, of them will keep you off of the radar it seems as though nothing will keep you off the radar um, except for ghost at the moment so regardless of what you put on there it can lower the muzzle flash it can lower the amount of noise that your weapon makes but you're still going to show up on that mini map is how it appears to be at the time of recording this which for me makes it not worth it it's just a, at that point it's just cosmetic it's just preference if you prefer that that's fine but for me it doesn't really make sense to do that especially because it does hinder the stats of the weapon a little bit in other areas which i'm not willing to make a trade-off for when it comes to optics you have either the reflex sight or the holo sight which are the first two that you unlock and personally i think both of these are viable depending on how you're going to be using them but you definitely should have at least one of them because the the iron sights on these weapons are only okay uh, and honestly you're going to be getting into a lot of long range engagements and the time to kill is super fast so you do not have the time to see hey is that an enemy over there you have to know you have to be able to see them instantaneously so you definitely need at least one of the reflex sight or the hollow sight reflex sight is a better all around sight whereas the hollow sight is better at a distance so depending on which gun you're using you can pick and choose accordingly whichever one you prefer is going to be the best option for you now the first two perks you're going to get for these guns are going to be fmj and sleight of hand um i definitely recommend using fmj until you get sleight of hand in which case i would switch over to sleight of hand because i prefer personally reloading quicker rather than penetrating through walls and honestly even with fmj i've found a lot of walls that i just can't shoot through so really really frustrating um super annoying when you know where an enemy is and you can kind of pre-fire at them um and it still doesn't go through the wall even with fmj so you might as well throw fmj on there just because why not when you're at the lower levels you can't really lose anything by having it on there but 
Sleight of Hand for me is definitely better, so I recommend Sleight of Hand for those lower levels. For the Under Barrel, I'm going to recommend the Foregrip because even though it lowers your movement speed, it definitely gives you a bit more control and a bit lower recoil for these weapons. So definitely recommend that. Again, lower levels, this is going to shine. And a lot of these attachments that you do get at the lower levels are really, really good. So I definitely recommend using them to your advantage. Now, if you guys are wondering about secondaries and perks and everything like that, um, different kill streaks, I'm going to be making a separate video for the best class setups, in which case I'll talk about all of the best perks and the best kill streaks and things like that. But for this video, I just wanted to talk about guns and their attachments. Now, there is one final honorable mention that I want to talk about. That honorable mention is the MP7 Piercer. Now, I've heard the MP7 is really, really good, and it's one of the last, I think it's the last submachine gun that you unlock, which means for most players, they're not going to be able to use it for a long time. However, the Piercer variant is something that you can unlock as one of the first things that you ever get in the game. And all you have to do, you just go to the barracks, you go to the challenges, and then you go over and select the boot camp missions and you complete all five boot camp missions. They're very, very easy, super, super easy. You could probably do all of them in a game or two, uh, depending on how well you do. And by just completing these five missions, they will give you the MP7 piercer, which you can use even if you don't have the MP7 unlocked yet, which is really, really crucial. Now, one of the downsides of this is that you don't get to unlock anything for the MP7 because you don't have the gun yet, but you can still use this variant early, early game until you unlock that weapon. So this is something that I just found out. I just unlocked it and I haven't used it too much, but I definitely recommend you guys unlocking it really, really fast just to see if it's good play around with it. It might be better than the uh, P90 or even the AUG, the AUG um, in a close range engagement. So I definitely recommend you try it. Like I said, it takes maybe one or two games to unlock super, super easy. And it's a free variant. You might as well get it um, and use it and try it out. Cause it is after all, one of the last guns that you're going to unlock guys. That's pretty much it for this video. I recommended four different guns. And also you can try out the MP seven, which I can't recommend cause I haven't tried it, but you guys should definitely unlock it because you might as well. Plus it'll get you some extra experience doing those challenges. If if you want comment down below telling me what is the gun that you've been having the most success with i'm really really interested to find out and also tell me what attachments you think are most important for that weapon because as we're finding out attachments are the most crucial part of the best guns in modern warfare don't forget guys if you want you can drop a thumbs up subscribe and ring that bell just so that way the youtube algorithms know that you guys are enjoying my content follow me on social media and the links in the description below and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace